Hey guys, Josh here from Testing Wines 3 Reviews, and as you can see, I've got a banner! Excellent! And today I will be giving you a brief run through of the fantastic new distortion pedal from Sir called the Riot Distortion. I'll be giving you a run through of all the specifications. It's an incredibly simple pedal and it sounds brilliant. And I've kind of uh, started using it in my uh, little B rig, so not having to cart around the 100 watt diesel head or the igniter wherever I go, I can just turn up with my Fender Hot Rod Deluxe, which I'll be using for this. The um, EQ knobs are set all at 12 o'clock. And that's it, just running through the clean channel of the amplifier, and I'll give you a close up of all the settings and the specs. So here's my little pedal board. It's a Pedal Train Junior with the Voodoo Labs Pedal Power 2 Plus. And it's incredibly simple. It's got a Korg Pitch Black Tuner, which is True Bypass. A standard Dunlop Crybaby, which I've also had modded, so that's True Bypass. You got the Sur Riot Distortion and an MXR Phase 90. Uh, so it's a very clean signal path. And at the top there I've got an MXR carbon copy analog delay going through the effects loop of the amplifier. So let's focus on the Sur pedal for this. So we've got three nubs on the front of this pedal. We've got a distortion control, which obviously uh, controls the amount of distortion. The tone, which is our EQ, and our level, which is our overall master volume. Now this little metal switch in the middle here is called the voice switch which shifts, shifts the mid-range of the distortion which is very useful and very versatile uh, ranging from getting classic uh, Marshall-y ACDC sounds to more high gain modded 80s JCM 800 sort of things and then uh, got the a nice robust on and off switch and as you can see a very bright blue LED and then if we just flip the pedal up onto its top We've got the uh, 9 volt control here, it's also powered by a 9 volt battery. And this little metal socket here is used to switch the pedal on and off remotely. Uh, so say you're using a MIDI foot switch system like a Voodoo Labs ground control or a Bob Bradshaw switching system or something like that, you can switch off remotely in your rack of other effects pedals which is very useful. And that's about it, it's very simple and it sounds great. And while I'm down here I've had some uh, questions on like Fender Hot Rod Deluxe videos that I've done. Those have been incredibly popular on YouTube and thank you very much for all the comments. And the most common one that comes up is how to wire in the uh, a delay pedal into the effects loop. So I'm going to show you now. So I've got the input of the delay going into the preamp out of the Fender Hot Rod Deluxe and then the output of the pedal going into the power amp in and that's how you uh, set it up for to get a really nice clean signal for your delays. Okay so on to some sounds with the right pedal. So I'm going to start off with the voice switch in the left position. We've got three positions. We've got left, centre and then to the right and the distortion control is set at 1 to 2 o'clock. Tone is at 1 o'clock and the level is at 11 o'clock. And so here's my clean sound. So very dry, and here's the Sir pedal. As you can hear, you've got some really nice sounding overdrive on that, and still, even though it's quite high gain on that particular setting, it's very defined, you can hear every note. And what also I really like about this pedal, it feels like an amplifier, a, a distorted amplifier, so if I can go from a really loud distorted chord... I can roll off my volume and get a uh, pretty nice clean sound so I don't have to worry about tap dancing or anything like that. I'm going to back off the distortion a little bit to get some more classic rock tones. So the distortion control is now at 12 o'clock on the dial and it sounds like this. <laughs>
classic rock sounds there. I'm just going to move the uh, voice uh, switch into the middle and put in the distortion back at around one or two o'clock, and here's what it sounds like. <laughs> Put it back in the left position to give you a reference as to what we had before, and this is what you got. Back into the middle. Nice bit of lots of hair to it, and then finally in the right position, so it's pointing towards the level control, and it sounds something like this. <laughs> Some really fantastic tones there. I'm just, I'm just going to give you some lead samples using the uh, carbon copy delay in the loop and um, just show you how amazing this pedal sounds for lead stuff as well. <laughs> amazing to me and um, before I sign off I'll give you an a, idea of what this um, pedal sounds like with some ultimate tuning so I'll give you some drop D stuff <laughs> So it's got a lot of teeth to it. This is a fantastic distortion pedal and probably the best one I've ever tried and I don't think I'll buy another one because this is the business. I like this pedal so much that it's become an essential part of my B-Rig so if I'm playing with my band or I'm depping for an artist or another band or something like that then um, I can just take this along and I've got some amazing tones straight off the bat so I don't have to worry about if I can fit a 4x12 half stack behind me on stage. So um, to su sum up, this is an amazing pedal. It's uh, I bought mine from Guitar Guitar and it costs about £150 around that sort of region and it's terrific value for money. After seeing demos from guys like Pete Thorne, if you, if you really like this pedal and want to hear it in a band context, check out a video that Pete Thorne did on it and um, it sounds incredible. He used it uh, through a couple of different amplifiers with some different guitars and strictly just running it through the clean channel and it sounds incredible so I really wanted to check one out for myself and I got it at a time where one of my amps was broken and I had a couple of gigs to do and um, I was thinking what the hell am I going to do I haven't got my amps 
So I bought this pedal and it sorted me out just fine. I just had a tuner, a wah and this, uh, and this distortion box and it sounded fantastic. And um, so I highly recommend checking it out. And I'm just going to play you out with, with a phone. I highly recommend checking out this pedal and I'm just going to play you out with some more tones from it. If you want uh, further information about Sur Guitar products, check out surguitars.com and more from Guitar Guitar, check out guitarguitar.co.uk.